My name is Frederick Arthur B.B. And what you're saying is at Saber Point, Old Saber, Connecticut, uh, on the side yard of the house I grew up in, that's Graham B.B. or Jenny Larson B.B. And that's my mother, Vera Josephine Fisher B.B. And here, my grandfather, Arthur Horatio B.B. The Buellers were friends of my mother and father back in the early 30s. This was taken before I was born which is, was 1935. I'm 87 and presently. <clears throat> the Buellers had one son that I remember playing with. as a young boy. This is my grandfather with my mother on a swing set in the backyard at Saber Point, Connecticut. This is my grandfather with Dot and Ruth Pinches, summer residents. This is the whole family. I would say I'm about four, and Linda is, a, well, maybe I'm five, Linda is two. This is a pump outside the little house on the property at Saber Point. The property had three houses, including the main house and two smaller ones, which were rented. Now we're back in Stanford, Connecticut again. And that's a 1935 Chevy, which I learned to drive on. That's my sister and my mother on the porch. This is Christmas, probably around 1944. And that's Linda. Of course, this was World War, during World War II, so I received a present of a uniform and a wooden rifle. This is a skit put on by my father, as you will see in a moment how it unfolds. Although it, initially it looks like an attempt just to string garland, which was popular then, not so much now. That's my grandfather taking over. You'll notice the cigarette. He was a two to three pack smoker per day.
All this is taking place in Stanford, Connecticut. This is my grandfather cutting up the turkey for either Thanksgiving or Christmas dinner. I don't know which. My first outing to catch crabs in the South Cove, Sabre or Sabre Point as a peninsula. The South Cove on one side, North Cove on the other side, and the Connecticut River. That's my grandfather in the backyard with Linda. And my grandmother with me, reading the funny papers. This is during World War II at the steamboat dock by the Connecticut River. My grandfather uh, volunteered as an airplane spotter. the era of wooden boats. Obviously a fishing vessel. This is the old Saybrook Railroad Station. And it's uh, very much a part of my grandfather's life since he was a railroad engineer. His father, Horatio Baby, was a railroad engineer. So this goes back to the steam engine up until the time of the diesel. And the distance All right, this is at uh, the old Saybrook Railroad Station up in Connecticut. Obviously, we're looking at an old diesel. That's my grandfather waving out the window of the cab. That's his brake man behind. Again, this is a picture of the train going by, a passenger train, not a freight train. And this is when they got into the diesel era. There he is again, looking out the window. This was in Stanford, Connecticut.
My father was the film producer. This is me in the barber chair. I don't know how old I was then, but I could guess maybe four or five. Frederick N. Beebe, my father, loved taking 16 millimeter movies. A lot of them are just black and white. Earlier than when Kodak came out with color, He liked developing stories, short stories of events he could film and title. Of course, being very young, I don't remember the process he went through to title those sections of the film. But he liked to, in written words, say what was going on and some of the emotion on the part of the barber and myself. There is my father and I, again going back to World War II, since I have a, a military cap from that era. This is Stanford, Connecticut now. Oh, my father is getting ready to make a cake. I stayed with him in the kitchen. for what he did up to a point where I disappear since it was evening and I went to bed. There are very few pictures of my father where he is the subject but I believe my mother is taking this picture. We're seeing the entire process now, finishing up. I've disappeared. And I'm thinking I probably went to bed. Ever the showman. The person on the left is the Episcopal minister in Old Saber.
This is uh, after 35 years of marriage. These two ladies are my grandmother's best friend. The one on the right is Jenny Tooker, same first name. Lives one block away. The woman on the left lives somewhere in Sabre, but I don't know her name. Or there I am. It's, since it's 1939, I must be four years old. This is the front parlor of the house at Saber Point. This is many friends and relatives. The woman on the right of my grandfather seated is his sister-in-law. This is uh, my grandmother, grandfather, my father, mother, and, and me. In the same period of time, Jean McCormick who used to babysit, also a Sabre president. And uh, my father, a grandfather on the left and his brother on the right, named Fred, Fred and Hattie. And this is uh, my mother on the left. The learners on the right, friends, live in New Haven. Again, as I remember my grandfather, he always had a cigarette in his mouth. Having said that, I see he doesn't have one on in his mouth right now. What brand did he smoke? Oh, camels. He was a camel smoker. Now we uh, fast forward to 1965, Debbie's First birthday, and this is at uh, Sabrick Point in the same room, the dining room, that you saw the 1939 anniversary celebration. This is Deborah Vera Beebe. daughter of Frederick N. Baby and Ruth Winfield Baby. Do you remember this one of Pat and Dad? Do I remember this one? I do. And there we are in Saybrook again, but not at Saber Point. We're at my father's house in town. And this was the year that Debbie received a wicker rocking chair. I'm bending over her, that's me. My sister, Linda, to the right. Ruth to the left, and in the background is Graham. I can't identify the man at the right because I can't really see him. Yes, now I can see him. That is Victor Ball, who is 
my mother's sister's husband and here we are in Saybrook again at my mother and father's house That's uh, Linda on the left with Alice, baby. This is me and Ruth. Linda on the left and Alice cutting the pumpkin pie. My grandmother at the end table. My father obviously is a cameraman. Again, we have a Christmas scene. In the latter part of the 60s. I guess Debbie is three or four. Again, this is Old Saybrook in town at my father and mother or second or Fred and Baby's second wife, Alice. And you're looking at Ruth to the right. And in the distant back there is Bobby Valentine. And to just to the left of Ruth is her brother, Larry. A twin of Ruth. This is Bobby Valentine, a relation of Alice. On time. This is Ruth. Now we're fast forward to Maryland. Mount Rainier, Maryland, just outside of College Park and the University of Maryland. There is Ruth. We're in our first apartment with Debbie, after she was born, and we were visited by my grandmother on the couch, distant figure on the couch. Linda left. This is Linda, grown up now. Since we're talking 1964. This is Ruth with Debbie. And I believe we're at Mount Vernon. And that's the Potomac River behind. And now we're in Inglewood, New Jersey. And the man in the background is Ruth's father, Edward Winfield. And that is carrying the woman in his arm is Larry. Now we're back in Mount Vernon. Again, Debbie. There I am waving Alicia's hand.
Now we're back up in Nyack, New Jersey. This is the boat that belonged to Edward and Winfield, Ruthie's father, and that lively young man in a dark sweater and pants is her brother, twin brother, and I'm there holding the sail at the stern of the boat trying to put in the battens in the sail. And we're preparing for a trip on the Hudson River. This is the Tube and the Unknown Soldier, which we visited with Infant, Infant Debbie. on a cold day. This is Debbie in her crib back in Mount Rainier in her bedroom. We had a two bedroom apartment. This is uh, at my mother and father's house in Old Saybrook. That is Alicia, uh, Debbie, and uh, my brother-in-law Larry with his wife to the left, Avis. There I am at the end of the table. Ruth next to me, and then Norman Gregory, married to my sister Linda, just to her left, and then Alice. This is Christmas time, and no, it's not Christmas time. This is summer, birthdays. This is uh, in the living room of the house in Old Saybrook, 381 Main Street. A large house with apartments above it that they rent out to tenants. In the basement of this house is a theater my father built in the 60s. That's Norman holding Alicia. And now we have Kevin, our third child, Kevin Lawrence Beebe, and Ruth in the backyard of Old Saber. And this is Debbie. That's me sampling whatever. Again, we're all at the dinner table at 381 Main Street, Old Saber. That's Norman Gregory, married to my sister Linda. That took place in 1968. Graham at the end of the table, Debbie, Ruth, myself, and Alicia. Again, we're looking at Debbie. Uh, 
on the left, Zalisha, Kevin. This is the lobby to the theater. That's under the first floor of the house. The lobby has a display of film paraphernalia. In the center is the doorway into the theater. Debbie and Alicia obviously pressing keys, which really don't do anything. It's a player piano. Here we are, back again. Upstairs. In the dining room. On the left is Dot and Ruth Finches, summer tenants at Saybrook Point. Obviously, this is Debbie's birthday. Graham, Alice, and Alicia. I don't know who the young girl is on the left. This is a cartoon that my father felt he had to add to the family scenario. Rather crude by today's standards as every frame was drawn two-dimensionally. If you remember early films at the theater always had a cartoon before the feature film was presented. 